All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back in Havana, fucking around, messing around. Wait, what, where's the cur courier? All right, but uh, you know what? I really hate allergy season, but I hate it more, especially now, because the consistent paranoia of um, of the uh, La Corona just makes you think you got it. And you know you don't, because you get these type of allergies every year, around the same time. But no! You want to stay healthy because you already have a respiratory condition. So you're just uh, a little bit paranoid, extra paranoid. <laughs> Alright, let's do some collecting. Or just a little bit of collecting. Come on, get get up. Thank you, Edward. I gotta find one of those um, agile boys to get me a uh, throwing knife. Oh, shit. I re-wheel. Okay. Alright, so the question is, where exactly... Nope. Are we going over here? Actually, first, let's chase down this sea shanty. Just because I fucking love sea shanties. Oh god, get up! Edward, no, please! There we go. No, no, God damn it, Edward. There we go. Close to it anyway, yeah, we kind of are. Right, let's get that one, and then I believe we'll head over. Get up, thank you, buddy. We'll get that chest later, or now, since it's like right back there. Now let's head to the mission. There we go. Excuse me, sir and madam. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un respeto más... respetable. Lleva meses en alta mar. Seguí gente con él. Well, they really don't like foreigners. But okay. <laughs> Reminds me of some place. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. 
the same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like, get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quiet. A kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. I shoot the two bullets to a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Manifique. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Well, all right. Two blades. As is the custom, me. Eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh... show you what I know. Here. You see? Situation as well as to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. That is true. Show us another technique. Can I can I climb? Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Mm. <sighs> Come on, let's climb. There we go, and yeet. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. The you advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Okay, they're gonna give me specific ones to use. Uh... God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Absolutely. Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating! What is the it? Every Assassin's, Assassin's Creed you game well with this training you course? It's the perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. 
Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here, in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. <laughs> Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like, a device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Well, all right. 
like a precursor and as well Duncan tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives and with it your reward after which we will discuss further schemes I look forward to it excelente meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning Governor Torres requested your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Sounds good. I hope none of them recognize me from going on a rampage there earlier. <laughs> All right. Where? Oh, down that way. And you know what? Is are there any? Can't get that without going into full uh, restricted area, so let's just go straight to the mission. Oh, hello. Are you blowing me? No. Nope. That, get down, Edward. Up we go. What is with the cats on roofs here? Is that his? Is that historically accurate? Do cats just like jump around roofs in Havana in the 1750 or the early 1710s? Uh, Spanish cannon barrel. Spanish seem nice. Right, let's look at other sword sets. Do we want to use anybody else's swords? Damage. Well, I suppose we can go use Altair's swords. Hey, fuck you, buddy. All right, getting close. Uh, hey, no, no. Hello, doggo. Duncan, over here. Steve. Uh, no, that's not Steve Bonnet. That's Woods Rogers. Hello. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward. Hello, Edward. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. <laughs> Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. The fuck over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, see, si Lula. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned the desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? 
I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is off. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Uh oh, Assassin. ambush! Oh, Jesus Christ! Watch this. Hello, sir. They could be anywhere. Oh, come on. Where'd he go? Oh god, he's getting away. Paralysis starts. All right. Tackle him from You're a the nimble bottom. one. I'll give you that. Oh shit. Huh, I might have tackle him from above if he's gone already. <laughs> Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. There we go. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. <laughs> Set on all sides by our enemies, we must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. All right, a thousand reals. And thank you for the extra two fifty. <laughs> Might as well just make it. Another two twenty five, excellent. There is a synchronization point around here, so I want to get that. Nope. Thank you. Yeah. Yeet! <laughs> Negative yeet. Almost there. Where are we 
got something there. Somebody liberate over there. Let's get this secret over here. Where the hell is it? Oh, it might. Yep, it is. Jesus Christ, didn't mean to do that. But I guess that works. Oh shit. Excuse me, pardon me. Disappear into the crowd. I said disappear into the crowd! Okay, cool. Might as well get that one first. Where'd he go? Let's uh, take us. Thank you for that. I know. Bye bye. All right, off we go. Over the tavern to avoid the bar fight. <laughs> Pass the cat once again. What the hell is she running from? Down, Edward. I have suffered enough. Leave me in peace, damn you. Captain Kenway, just in time. I'll see you back aboard. Yeah, that accent does not match up with the character model. Dead there, buddy. Nope. Turn around. There we go. Okay. It's just going to be that the whole time, isn't it? Come on. Sea shanty, sea shanty, sea shanty. Shanty, 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 shanty. Come on. There you go. Oh, it's the church. Why well, do I have any doubt about that? It's always the church. No matter if it's scandals involving children, money laundering, or uh, uh, or uh, just a synchronization point, it's the church. It's always the church. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. And there is our mission object or our mission. Steed Come Bonnet. On, let's have a toast. Yes, it is. God, sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um, you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. <laughs> Imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to, in private. He's just kind of like, okay, cool. Kill three guards from a stocking zone. Whoa, that, the other one would stay out of, um, stay out of combat. Come here. Don't be shy. Oh no. Might as well get the three. Really? Come here. Come come on back. Thank you. Might as well get the three of them done out of the way. Oh, what? Only one of those counted? now. That sucks only one of those counted. Jesus. I'll wait till the other guy. Come on. Come here. Come here. There we go. Yeah, the other one will stay out of combat. Cannot guarantee that, but... There we go. Oh god, okay. to find whoever's holding the key. Not them two. There he is. Come 
Come here. Come here. Oh no. There we go. Clear for Ooh, shit. We're clear for now. Let's keep moving. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Thank you for forgetting about me. Can't climb up there. Captain Pissoff. Bien que pauvre Pisa. Where is this sage? You set him free. I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Wallow. Move on through. <laughs> a despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father. Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. Senna, cometela rápido. You hungry? <laughs> well, that was easy. Now, what's your plan, mate? Find my weapon and steal a ship. Que Dios nos ayude. No me gusta la pinta de esa tormenta que se acerca. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá estemos a salvo. Andiamo, idiota. Got a weapon. Right. 
quickly now. Come here. Come on. Come on. And that's three. Hello, gold. We're stealing a brick. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. Sounds good. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Come here. Come here. You too? There we go. There's a catch to this favor. You're sailing with me. I'd follow you to hell for this, mate. Sounds good. Slowly growing a crew. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. Hopping up on the Man of War. At least I think it is. Yeah, it is, because this, this ship is huge. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. The other prisoners are down. Okay. No. Gentlemen. We're going topside. Be ready. Oh, 
taking the ship, boys! Lay aboard, lads! Save your singing for Davy Jones and Jagabats! It's a hard wind coming! The man speaks true. You lot weigh anger. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Keep watch on those galleons. They will far too slow for this weather. Sit here. I got him off my tail. Come on, lads. Lively with you. I see it. Yep, steer into it and brace. I got off course. We're still good though. Water spout! Oh no. Where does he see a water spout? Oh no. And then there's one in the distance, okay. And another in the distance. Jesus Christ. It's far enough that we might be able to curtail it and it's not looking good. catapult ourselves around. Maybe not, maybe not. Quickly! Getting close, getting close, getting close! Oh boy! Alright, full sail, we're almost out. One brace. Another damn water spout. Okay. We seem to be in the clear for now. And we're out. We pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands off, lads! Taking this one home. Oh. 
All right. Good while it lasted. I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. <laughs> it's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of lint stocks heaped like tinder. And one with a slow match, still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaws. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. All right. Sounds good. Uh, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so very much for joining me today on our first excursion into Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I've got to head off to work, so I thank you so very much for coming by. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that to help me out, because you know it does. If you're on Twitch, please drop me a follow, and I will see you all tomorrow.